This now concludes our overview of the operational excellence for the EKS baseline. Now, as of your next steps, um, what I would suggest would be the following. There's a next step section in here at the bottom of the main um, architecture pattern document where we're looking into not only microservices with AKS, but also um, the roadmap. So let me kind of show you what we have in there. You should certainly bookmark and visit our roadmap. It is fully available on GitHub. You can see our Kanban board here with uh, things that are planned, backlogs, and also um, all of the new features that are GA, some of which will certainly apply for your scenario. So make sure you take a look at this here. Um, the product group puts this and takes care of this um, constantly. So certainly a good resource to have at hand. The second one I want to mention is this one here. So that's the microservice architecture with uh, Kubernetes, so with AKS specifically. And kind of like in the same way that we have this set of uh, patterns, this one will go and talk about how do you, how do we think that an approach to do microservices with Kubernetes would work. So that's also something that I believe will will bring you value. Uh, whether you're going to use everything or not, that is really up to you to decide. But I believe the the scenarios that we have here um, will certainly help on the decision making process. And then lastly, one of the things that I want to show here is if you go back to the AKS Secure Baseline on GitHub, this now is the implementation of the concept that we talked about. Um, this here on GitHub will go over all of the deployment process and what needs uh, to be taken care of for you to achieve a production-ready um, Kubernetes. Now, you have two options here. You can clone this repo and just work on your local machine and not push back anywhere. But I think what I would recommend is that you fork this instead. So fork this into your own GitHub, and from there, you can use all of the more advanced um, features that we've talked about, like GitOps with Flux, and also the use of uh, GitHub Actions. So certainly, that would be my preferred way of doing this, for you to actually utilize all of the content and all the ideas that we have for this workshop. I do hope that this was informative and I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.